Greetings and greetings my fellow YouTube nurses. Where have you guys been at? Just kidding. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I've been super busy with my mom's birthday. My birthday just turned 26. Just kidding. And um, quinceanera for my sister's birthday. It was huge, humongous. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a girl. It's like a sweet 16, but for Mexicans, it's a huge fat, like a wedding. People all there with their dresses and soccer shoes. <laughs> No, but it's pretty fat, humongous. My sister just turned 15. I love you, my little sis. And also been busy with school and finals. Like I said, I'm about uh, not uh, like basically quantity. I don't like cranking out videos. I'm all about quality, okay? Quality. I can't even say the word. That's how Mexican I am. And uh, like I said, I've been busy with promoting stuff. There's been a lot of people trying to connect with me. So coming up, I'm going to be doing a lot of more big things. And last but not least... Uh, Scrubs Magazine, you guys know who that is. Scrubs Magazine, I want to do a shout out. Thanks for uh, doing your thing. They actually going to put me in their magazines coming up on the next issue. They want to talk about Nurse Mendoza. That's me. <laughs> and they want to put me out there and they want to talk about who I am, what I do, what my videos are all about, all that good stuff. So a shout out to Nurses or Scrubs Magazine out there. It's going to be coming out in the next issue. So I'm excited about that. You guys will see me all up in there blasted. Um, yeah, so it's good stuff. It's coming real soon. So get ready for that. So here's a question, y'all. The um, most important question that I got from a lot of my followers and subscribers were talking about how is it being a minority? Tell me why I'm looking in the sky like this. <laughs> what is it being a minority, Mexican-American, Latino, Chicano, everybody out there who is a different culture, different race, how is it being a nurse? What are your experiences? That was my question. So I said, you know what? Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do a video on that, okay? So I said, I'm going to just crank one out. So I'm going to give you like three of experiences that I had gone through as a um, Mexican-American Chicano nurse. And sorry if my voice is a little raspy, okay? Came back from Vegas, kind of lost it, so I'm coming back to reality. So my first experience I had was with this old little lady, elderly lady. She's about seven years old. I remember getting a report, went in there. She was very sweet, I remember. Very thin, frail, small, sweet lady. Looked at me and said, I don't want you as my nurse. I said, dang. I said, why? I said, oh, my name is so forth, and I told her very nice. I was polite, and she didn't want me as a nurse. She said, I don't want. I want a female nurse who's not a minority. Dang, she had an accent, and everything. And I told her, and I was like, well, what's going on? What is it? And I remember she just was racist, plain and simple, racist. She didn't want a dark-skinned nurse taking care of her. And I looked at her, I'm like, dang, what is up with the world nowadays? Why do we still gotta judge and be stereotypical? And why do we gotta, you know? do all that stuff so I went in there talked to her and I even asked her why but I just let it go I let it go it hurt me I remember that was my first day on the floor as a nurse well not the first day but first couple months and I realized okay patients are right I can't go against their word so I said I'll get you another nurse I remember that kind of affected me I went home and I'm like dude am I really in the right field I mean people are gonna look at me like you know I'm all of a sudden um, an alien I guess they she looked at me like I was just from another planet it was weird but I remember that kind of affected me. I went home and I said, no, I can't let this bother me. I can't let this hurt me. So um, that was one of my experiences. It wasn't too big of a thing, but my second one really was, I remember it was a dude, uh, he was about 60 years old. No, no, he was actually older. He was about 90, 80 or 90. Very, very old, old individual. And um, got a report, talked to him, very standoffish. I remember going in there and he goes, who are you? And I said, well, I'm your nurse. I'll be taking care of you. I'm just me being me, charismatic, outgoing, and just fun. He did not perk, didn't even move one lip, didn't even smile. And he said, well, didn't anybody tell you I was in World War II, Pearl Harbor? And I was like, okay, what's that have to do with anything? And I remember he specifically was talking about how he fought off with these people who were minority. And he basically looked at me like I was from Pearl Harbor or something. And I was like, yeah, we fought people... You know, they, they kind of remind me, you kind of look like him. Dude, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm not, you know, Asian descent. So I was thinking, why is he saying this? Whatever, I brushed my shoulders off. I thought he was joking, um, but I just kind of, it kind of bothered me a little bit. I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, well, you know, uh, just, I just didn't feel very comfortable around them and this and that. It's part of the war. That's what we got to do. We got to kill them people. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, another person who's racist. And this was about eight months after I had my first racist episode. So I, I looked at the guy, I said, you know what? You know, I, I bet you feel comfortable if I was a female, right? And he goes, no. I bet you feel comfortable if I got you another nurse. He goes, damn straight. You need to leave and get me another nurse. Because if you weren't going to say it, I was going to say it. I swear to baby Jesus. When it's, once he said that, I just felt like 
another ton of bricks just hit me. I'm like, man, what am I doing wrong? But it, honestly, when it comes down to it, it's not you as a person. And it's not being Latino. It's not being black. It's not being East Indian. It's not being Asian descent. It's just people who grow up in that mentality have that mentality. They stay adapted to that. Instead of changing, they just stay who they are. So I remember that was the second episode. And um, I had a few other ones before. But honestly, what don't kill you makes you stronger. And you just learn from it. People don't change, but you as a nurse have to adapt. If you're any type of um, descent, Mexican, like I said, if you're Asian or if you're East Indian, if you're black, any type of nationality, any race, you just have to adapt like a chameleon. And like I said, it's not people who are intelligent that make it. It's not people who have money that make it. It's people who adapt that make anything possible. Okay, it could be nursing, it could be life, work, it could be family, it could be social life, it can be, you know, um, it's just anything you just have to learn to adapt so you know I told the guy well thank you for telling me what he said I'll get you another nurse I just laughed it off never let it get to me and I just realized like why would people do this so I remember my last episode was awesome because it just happened two weeks ago a little old lady um, um, you know I assessed her took care of her and the biggest thing that affected me the most was when I had to give her bed bath she didn't take it personal, but she's like, uh, I don't want a bed bath right now. And I told her, well, if you don't want one, I don't have to you know, give you one. She's like, no, it's just that it's you and I don't know you that well. I said, okay, well, we don't have to give you one. So I remember giving her a bed bath later after she got to know me and uh, I assessed her, you know, gave her her meds. You know, after a couple hours, she felt a little more comfortable. And here's the best part about it. After the 12 hour shift, she leans over and says, you have been the most caring nurse you have been the only nurse that actually talks to me, takes care of me, and is able to understand who I am as a person. Dude, that hit me even harder. And that's beautiful that she looked past my skin color, past my facial hair, past this Mexican attitude, and past everything else. Past the tattoos, because I got judged a lot for that. And she looked at me and just said, please come back tomorrow. I want you to take care of me. That right there was the best feeling you can get. And a lot of people who um, are racist, they change their outlook when you take care of them. They see, okay, it's not about the color, the tattoos, and who you are as a person. It's about the holistic care, the heart you have as a nurse, and that personal you know, ways that you are to treat the patient, the way you assess them, the way you care for them, and also the way you communicate. And all that, as a nurse, makes you the best damn nurse you could ever be. And they look past the race, the nationality, and the culture. So that was probably one of the best experiences I've had. I wanted to share that with you guys, my fellow YouTube nurses. And um, that was awesome. So on that note, I'm going to end it right there. But I'm going to crank out some more videos. Like I said, check out Scrubs Magazine. They're going to do an editorial on me. I'm going to be uh, somewhere in the magazine. I'm not sure yet where, but it's going to be on the next issue. Also, new things are coming up. I'm doing big things, promoting with these people. I'm trying to connect. So all my nurses, all my nurses, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. Talk about your experience. I want to know you as a nurse. Uh, minority or not what racist uh, issues you've dealt with also I want to also uh, put in a uh, follow me on Twitter that's YouTube nurse follow me on Instagram that's nurse Mendoza 7 and if you have any questions put them on there hit me up my fellow YouTube nurses peace